to work duplicate stitch, you're going to cut a length that's several yards long, depending on how much duplicate stitch you have to do, and thread a tapestry needle. And then you're going to work back and forth, just as if you were knitting. So, um, I'm going to start by coming up right about here. You can leave a tail to weave in later. Okay, and then I'm going to work this way. So I'm, I'm looking at this little V right here. I'm going to go under this leg and back out this leg. Draw the yarn through. And then go back down where you came up. And now you're going to come up where you want your next stitch to be. So I'm going to work the next row back this way. Okay, so I want to come up right here. Okay, and then now I'm going to work back this way. So I need to find, so here's my little V. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go under these two legs like that. And then I'm going to go back down where I came up. And come up one stitch over. Hard to do. That. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to, here's my V. I'm going to go under these two legs. And then I'm going to go back down where I came up and over one. One more. Okay. And now I'm going to go up to the next row. So I'm going to come up right here's my next row. I'm going to come up in this stitch. And now I'm going to work back this way.
Okay, and now I am going to do one more. I'm going to go straight up above. And I'm going to do two stitches, skip one, two stitches. See that? I'm going up one stitch. And now I'm going to go this way. So I can either do it this way, or if I want to turn it, I can do that same thing. Turn it over, should get something pretty tidy.